Of course, the singing is, you know, I just love it. Uh, and I always have loved singing. If you're feeling a bit cheesed off, you know, you go and you sing with a group of people, uh, and it just, it really does lift you, and you lose yourself in the, in the singing. It's very therapeutic. Singing on your own is uplifting, but with a, a group of other people, and when you get the harmonies right, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Chris Lewis, I am 58. My name is Philip Michel, I'm 58. I'm Barry Taylor, <coughs> Reverend Barry Taylor technically. Um, I'm 62. Yeah, my name's Rob Maloney. I am 54 years old on a good day. I'm a writer and a performer. And I've been a deacon in the Catholic Church for just over 10 years. And I work as an accountant in Hay on Wye. I run a recruitment company. 40 years in the civil service, foreign office, and then the MOD. Travelled all over the world, loved most of it, went to some pretty hairy places and loved that as well. But then decided after 40 years that that was enough. I'd reached almost the top of the tree, so time to focus on what really mattered. And that's where the singing comes in as well. I sang a lot uh, when I was my, in my school days um, and then did nothing, played sport through my most of my adult life. I've been singing since I was a kid, on and off. Um, and I love singing. I've sung in, sung in church, obviously. I did sing a little bit in the church choir, and I once got a solo part in a school play, but I, I just didn't sing at all. But I've always liked music. My wife was looking on the, she was Googling away on the web, and said, there's a workshop coming up in Abergavenny. Why don't you have a go at it? And that was the Love to Sing workshop. I love to sing, and I decided to do a Learn to Sing course. Uh, and in the first session that we did, I realised that this was uh, an a cappella barbershop chorus, and I really like barbershop. Went along and I thought, um, I'm not as good as these blokes, but why not? It's a bit of fun. It's not traditional male voice. The repertoire is, you know, if you see one male voice choir, then you know there's going to be a considerable overlap of the repertoires between the next male voice five miles down the road and the next one ten miles down the road. Synergy is the right name for the group. It just feels like there's, there's life and there's enjoyment and there's movement. And the fact that you know, this is a close harmony barbershop choir it is just quite different and it just would be more challenging really. Maybe I'm right and maybe I'm wrong and maybe I'm weak and maybe I'm strong but nevertheless I'm in I'm Martin Flory, I'm 61 years old and I'm a careers advisor. I'm Sharon and I'm Martin's wife and I'm 57 years old and I'm a senior lecturer at the University of South Wales in Newport. I first came to Wales in 1980. I'd only joined Barbershop a couple of years prior to that. I later then got involved in a group called the Wye Valley Chorus for I don't know, it was the best part of 10 years, isn't it? And um, I felt at that point that I'd gone as far as I could with them. And so I decided I would finish. Um, and so really for a year or two, I was doing nothing. Over that period of time, the, the, that, that group dwindled and I think there were people then at a loose end looking for singing opportunities. So I had several people contacting me and saying, when are you gonna form another group? Uh, and um, that became irritating to the point to which I said, well, you know, okay, let's do something. And we found a group of up to, up to a dozen who were interested in, in doing this. So we said, right, okay, here's the time, here's the place. Let's, let's get together. So really that was from about 2005. And from a dozen people, I guess we've grown to our current state of about 33, 35. We've still got four or five original members still singing with us 15 years on, so I think that says something about that it sustains interest over that period of time. Well, we've been together for 
30 years or more. We decided back last year that we'd been together for enough time. We'd got to know each other properly by then. And we thought getting we'd... older, of course. Yeah, and we're getting older. Well, speak for yourself. And so we decided to get married, didn't we? So I can't say after 50 odd years of my maiden name that I've got quite got my head around calling myself Mrs. Flora yet, but I'm sure it'll come. As you get older, you become more aware of your own mortality and yeah. uh, you, know, you learn more about people suddenly keeling over and all the rest of it. I realise that you know, a lot of the legal stuff we didn't have in place. And of course, yes, it's a validation of the relationship over that period of time. We've had lots of amusing comments about, uh, you know, we're sure you're not rushing into it and so forth. Yeah, a great occasion, and it was good to have the boys come along and yeah, sing as well. Yeah, Fantastic, did, actually. Yeah, yeah, to share the day with was them, wasn't it? It was great. Lovely warm atmosphere. Yeah. Just what we could have wanted, really. Yeah. So. Williams, I'm 55 years of age and I work in agriculture. I work for Farm in Usk, roughly 400 acres, and then we have roughly 50 acres at home where we run 70 sheep, along with my wife and my father-in-law, and my, well, mainly my one son, but two sons, who both like to do a little bit with the farm. Um, grew up in a little village only three miles away called Lambert Kilgetty. My mother, big into her music, especially male voice choirs, which wasn't a real passion of the rest of us, but we got used to it. Uh, well, I've always really been into farming since I was little. Brought up on farms, worked on farms. I've always been into tractors, love tractors, I love working tractors, love planting corn, anything like that. I've got one old one of my own, but my father-in-law's got a couple of vintage tractors. Uh, 1959 David Brown, which is the favorite. Everybody calls it the little red tractor because that's what it is. Um, but it is, it's a lovely little thing. Well, my main job is working on a farm in Usk. I've been there 30 odd years now. I prefer cattle to sheep, if I've got to be honest. I suppose I've spent more time with them over the years. Quite like the sheep, but they're always hard work. But at home, um, we've got roughly 70 sheep, but it's lovely when you go out and see the lambs skipping around the field and you think, yeah, they're ours. My boys even now will get up at five o'clock in the morning and go to sheep. No problem whatsoever. singing whatsoever until I joined Singing with You six years ago because I was so nervous I wouldn't get up and sing. I'd sing in a choir if I got down the pub with a load of boys but that was about it and then I spotted a advert for a six-week singing course with Synergy. quite enjoyed it and then the choir got up to do their practice and it was just excellent I loved it and one of the best parts was we had a guy then Alan Lewis who sang my Vanry, which is a song I've always loved. It was my mother's favorite song. I thought, like, yeah, I'd love to be able to sing that. My Vanry was actually one of the first songs I learned, even though I wasn't supposed to be learning the first verse because that was Alan's solo. But I absolutely loved it. So I've sort of picked the mantle up a little bit and now I sing it all the time. And it, it is a lovely song. And even now it still sends the hairs up on the back of my neck when I sing it. And when the other guys join in for the second verse, it is just amazing. I sort of regard them as family, really. Um, 
you know, that, I care about everybody being able to be free to be able to enjoy their singing. So I've had a number of one-to-one -one conversations with people you, you sense are going through a difficult time and just be able to talk them through it because they feel that they, they want to commit to the group but are struggling to do so and just talk them through, you can, yeah, we can support you, you know, so don't feel pressurised that you have to come every week if you need time out or whatever. Yeah, it is a sort of family, I suppose. You're not to, don't turn up for a few weeks, then somebody, you know, contacts you to find out if there's anything wrong and uh, how people can help. I was quite ill. I had three weeks off. I'd, I'd never missed any, but and I'd gone back. I didn't feel like going, but I went. And I'd been there only about 15 minutes. I thought, yeah, I've really missed this. a sense of personality if you like um, from the group I think it's it's a warm and expressive feel to it mm. would you say? definitely and, yeah. I, and that comes across when you sing out that there is a, a connection mm. uh, with the audience straight away I, I think that's what sells you it's not mm. just the good singing but it's the fact actually that you are good fun and you are entertaining and just makes it a whole enjoyable evening mm. We're not there just to sing, we're there to do something with it, we're there to improve. Singing with Synergy, there is something about it. Made some good friends. And then it's those chords, you know, it's, it's close harmony singing. It just, it just, it's great for the soul. But there's very little problem between, you think you, if you had 34 males together all the time, there'd be, you know, friction going on and there's hardly any. And then part of that is actually they're a great bunch of blokes to be with. <laughs> I go home on a Thursday night and I think I've had a really good sing, I've had a really good chat, it's a good night out with the blokes. Um, there is something about it, it gets inside you. You're part of something rather than on your own. It's exhilarating.